Hi, my name is Moti Margalit and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Sonic Edge. And today I'll tell you about our technology for making uh, MEM speakers. Sonic Edge started uh, back in 2012 when I met my uh, co-founder Ari and we were talking about uh, hearing aids and why can't you make a hearing aid that really sounds good. Turns out that making a small speaker is not an easy task. So when we look at the world of sound, not much has changed since speakers were invented more than 150 years ago. A moving membrane pushes air and generates the sound that we hear. And the problem is, as you try to shrink that speaker down in size to something that fits into an ear, you run into problems and you don't get the sound quality you would like. To address that problem, we go back to first principles and we ask ourselves, what can we do with a really small speaker? So a loudspeaker, a subwoofer, can generate a low frequency sound. A tweeter, a much smaller speaker, generates high frequency sounds. And if we want to use a really small speaker, something the width of a hair, we can generate ultrasound. If we take a couple of hundred of these ultrasound speakers and put them on a silicon chip, we have a great ultrasound driver. And this ultrasound driver is generating music on top of the ultrasound. So if we were bats, we could enjoy that music. But for humans, we need to do something to that ultrasound and make it into sound. So an ultrasound driver, as shown in the graph, generates a, a sound in the ultrasound, much above what we can hear. To make that ultrasound into sound, we modulate it. Modulated ultrasound is shown on the graph on the right. And what you can see is that we are turning on and off the ultrasound and generating a sideband. If that sideband is in the audio regime, we will hear it. So if you take an ultrasound signal, let's say at 400 kilohertz, and modulate it at 401 kilohertz, we will be generating a 1 kilohertz sideband, which we can actually hear. You can say, okay, that's a nice story, but why does this make for a smaller speaker? The answer is the same structure that I just described, the modulated ultrasound, is actually a pump. So how do we modulate ultrasound? Above each one of our speakers, we have an acoustic channel that we can open and close. When it is open, the ultrasound is free to flow. When it is closed, the ultrasound is attenuated. Now, imagine that speaker pushing air towards an open channel, so air will flow forward. When the speaker is moving back and the channel is closed, no air will flow back. So by changing the timing of the channel and the speaker movement, we can generate airflow in any direction we want. This is an ultrasonic pump. It's a pump working 400,000 times a second. Now this pump, compare it to a standard speaker, let's say moving 1,000 times a second, one kilohertz. So our standard speaker is moving 1,000 times a second, our ultrasound pump is working 400,000 times a second. We have 400 times the advantage over a standard speaker. We can make our speaker 10 times smaller. We can make the movement of the speaker 10 times less. We still have an advantage over a standard speaker. So an ultrasound speaker, an ultrasound modulated speaker, replaces speed for size. Instead of having a large speaker, we have a very small speaker, but working very quickly. So in our solution, we replace a standard membrane working at 1 kHz with an ultrasonic pump working at 400 kHz. And as a result, we have 400 times the advantage over a standard speaker. We can make the speaker 10 times smaller, the speaker can move 10 times less, and we still have the advantage over a standard speaker. The fact that we work in a silicon platform enables a solid state speaker. So the same thing that LEDs have done for lighting, or uh, transistors have done for electronics, we can now do for sound. And in acoustics, there's actually a good example of a solid state device. So, so 15 years ago, 20 years ago, the MEMS microphone came into existence and it replaced the electric standard microphone. And you can see that the MEMS microphone overtook the standard microphone because of the ease of manufacturing, the uniformity, and the ability to really treat the microphone just like any other electronic component. And we will do the same for speakers, and the potential for speakers is many times over the potential for microphones. 
So in this slide, you can see a picture of our MEMS driver or MEMS speaker. It is composed of multiple cells. Each cell includes an ultrasound speaker and ultrasound modulator. And the combination of these through the modulated ultrasound principle generate the pump effect and the acoustic signal out of our system. If we look at a single cell, at the cross-section of a single cell, what we'll see is the bottom, the ultrasound speaker, shown in, uh, shown in the slide on the left, and above it, two additional membranes which comprise the ultrasound modulator. The ultrasound modulator can be open, and the ultrasound is free to flow, there is free, free airflow, or the top membrane is close to the middle membrane, and the ultrasound channel is constricted, and as a result, we attenuate the ultrasound. So the modulation of the ultrasound is the transitioning between the two situations on the left and on the right. When it's open, it's free to flow. When it's uh, closed, it is constricted and ultrasound is attenuated. This is the modulated ultrasound principle. And the result is, like I said earlier, when the bottom membrane is moving up, air is pushed through the open channel. When it is moving down, the channel is closed, air cannot be pulled back and we have unidirectional flow. If we change the phase, the timing between the bottom and top membrane, we can generate flow in any direction, and that is the same as a standard speaker. The only difference is that we do this 400,000 times a second, so we have the advantage of speed over size. Sonic Edge is the pioneer of this modulated ultrasound technology. We are the first company to demonstrate this in a product, and the first company to really bring this to market. One of the unique aspects of the way we realize this is we use pure silicon technology. Other companies, the first generation MEMS uh, companies, they have used PZT, which is a, a, a piezoelectric material, but we use electrostatic actuation. So we have the pure form of actuation and we don't use any materials except silicon, both leading both for a low cost process as well as a highly reliable one because our process is the same as the MEMS microphone. The fact that we're using pure silicon means we have a sustainable uh, uh, manufacturing platform and fully ROS compliant. There's no lead in our systems. So in this slide we demonstrate the principle of operation. We have the bottom membrane moving up and down generating the ultrasound and the top membrane moving up and down, opening and closing the channel, and as a result, generating the modulated ultrasound, which is our acoustic signal. So our speaker is a drop-in replacement for existing uh, speakers. In an existing uh, audio system like a TWS, you would have an audio amplifier and a speaker. Our audio chip replaces the audio amplifier. The audio chip receives the audio signal from the system, and translates it into the drive signals for our MEM speakers. The MEM speaker receives the drive signals, generates ultrasound, modulates the ultrasound, and the result is an audio signal conforming to the input audio signal. So our speaker replaces existing audio amplifier and speaker within our audio chip and our MEM speaker. Our initial focus is on the TWS market where our speaker meets a lot of the requirements for the our roadmap. Uh, starts with the TWS, with the earphones, where our speaker provides tremendous benefit to our customers. Our small size enables new form factors and much more comfortable earphones. But our product roadmap does not stop there. Over time, we will increase the sound pressure level coming from our speakers. We have a defined roadmap to double the sound pressure level every two years. And as a result, we can address larger and larger speakers, speakers like headphones, cell phones, and later even the car and home uh, speakers. Our speakers are very unique. Unlike the standard speakers where you have a membrane pushing air, our speaker is a pump. It pushes air through a pump mechanism. This is very unique because as you go down in frequency in the closed cavity like you have in the ear, you actually have increasing sound pressure level. So unlike a standard speaker, which is more or less flat as you go down in frequency, our speaker is a volume velocity source. You have increasing sound pressure level as you go down in frequency. What we show in this graph is uh, the first pump speaker. The first time that we have a pump speaker 
for uh, earphone applications. This is very important because this gives you the SPL required to get great pass or to get very good ANC, wide bandwidth and ANC, or to support uh, open uh, cavity situations like the OWS. Because our uh, speaker is essentially a pump speaker, it is very easy to design an acoustic system around it. Instead of the complicated, uh, let's say, voltage sources and passive components that typically resemble, uh, represent a uh, standard speaker, our speaker is simply a current source. So if you want to design an acoustic system for our speaker in a lumped element simulation, you would use a current source using the uh, flow we get from our speaker and that well represents the audio system. As you can understand, there are no intrinsic resonances in such a system, making it easy both for design, but also making closing the, the feedback loop of an ANC much simpler. The latency and phase are constant and low. So the fact we use modulated ultrasound as the base technology for our speakers gives us some very distinct advantages over anything else. First of all, and most important, we have the highest SPL, the most sound pressure level or sound intensity per area. So our speakers are, will always be more uh, powerful than any comparable speaker in size. Since we are pushing air, we really have no vibrations at audio frequencies. We have no moving mass at audio frequencies, just air. As a result, you can have our speakers located right next to microphones or other sens uh, vibration sensitive uh, devices and there's no mechanical crosstalk. We have a linear response which makes it easy to tune our uh, acoustic signature across all frequencies. It's pure linear response across all the frequency range. So our speakers have extremely wide bandwidths from just a couple of hertz all the way to over 40 kilohertz. This enables you to have a single driver solution for earphones, making it much simpler without dealing with crossovers and without uh, addressing the need for phase coherence between different speakers. Moreover, we have ultrasonic responsivity. responsivity. Our speakers respond on the fly at microsecond levels. We also have very low group delay, less than one microsecond intrinsic group delay of our speakers and less than five microseconds when you combine our electronics into it. And finally, this is a solid state speaker, having all the manufacturing and scalability advantages of using semiconductor technology to make sound. So to sum, we are presenting a game-changing speaker using the modulated ultrasound principle, we have the second generation of MEMS uh, speakers. A single speaker can cover the whole frequency range, providing unparalleled sound quality in the smallest of speakers. This enables new form factors in earphones and beyond, and uh, opens up the possibility for scalability, just like LEDs did for lighting.